purple and goes blue. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to do a quick uh, little video on going through the initial calibration and setup through the OSD. Uh, this particular build here, I'm running a Spectrum uh, Lemon Diversity Satellite Antenna. I've got it connected to the two plugs. And again, on this wire, I'm using from the left. I'm using signal 3.3 ground or 3.3 volt and then ground. I'm not using the fourth because that is 5 volts and I'm also not using the three solder pads. All right, so first things first, we start the DVR and then we'll power this up. <coughs> it's going to go through its self test. Everything should pass okay. Uh, if this is your very first time turning it on, it is going to go right into the calibration mode. Uh, I've already done a little bit of configuration on this, but I'm going to walk through the, the process now. Uh, if you do not see the calibration, hold this button for five seconds, and you will see what you see on the screen now. RC calibration, center your sticks, waiting for Spectrum 1024, which is what this particular satellite receiver is bound at. Uh, if you see something different than what is expected flashing there, press that same button, and it'll cycle through the different options, PPM, SBUS, uh, Spectrum 2048, uh, there's a few other options in there. Just cycle through until you see the correct one for your receiver. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to center my sticks when it sees the middle. There it goes. So now just follow the steps. Move throttle full up and hold it there. So I'll go all the way up. It says OK. It says move it full down and hold it there. Okay. Move roll full right and hold it there. All right, so it's going to tell me that I need to reverse that. So we're going to go in to my settings. We'll go to reverse and we'll go to roll. Just like that. And now, if we go back to the OSD, if I go full right, it's going to be happy. If I go full left, it's going to be happy. So now we're going to do full pitch up. It says it's okay. Full pitch down. It says okay. So now we're going to go full yaw right. And it's not happy with this. Wrong side, so we're going to have to reverse it. So again, we're just going to kind of come into my configuration here, and then we go down to yaw, click it for reverse. Now we go back to the OSD. When I hold full yaw right, it's going to be happy. All right. Now we're going to go full left and hold it. All right. So now it wants me to move to the middle, which is already there. Doesn't seem very happy with that. Okay, so now it's in the middle. Not sure why it's. Not sure why it's not seeing it. Um, it may have been because I was already in the middle, and so it had seen that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to, um, all right, let's see if it sees it. Horizon. All right. So it, never mind. It did it. Okay. Horizon, angle. Now this is just the default. Uh, if you want to change these things, you're going to have to go into the uh, flight controller itself and change your modes. This is just what it does by default. It selects angle for bottom or down in the switch position which is 2, horizon for the middle, which is 1, and acro, or rate mode, which is 0 in the up position. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, next up will be a video just going through the different options in the OSD. Thanks for watching.